What if the sky of the future is dominated not by birds or planes, but by drones? Imagine a world where unmanned aerial vehicles, more commonly known as drones, could replace manned aircraft. What could that mean for human pilots? Could they become obsolete as drones take over our skies? Picture a battlefield with drones replacing traditional fighter jets. Is it possible? Could a drone bring down a plane? These are intriguing questions that spark our curiosity as we delve into the world of aviation. We'll be taking a deep dive into a comparative analysis between drones and manned aircraft, exploring their evolution, their applications across military, commercial, and recreational sectors, their safety records, cost effectiveness, and their potential future developments. So buckle up and prepare for a thrilling journey through the sky. Join us as we explore the world of drones and manned aircraft in a comparative analysis. To understand the future, we must first look to the past. This statement holds profound truth, especially when we talk about the evolution of aviation. From the Wright brothers' first powered flight in 1903 to the advent of unmanned aerial vehicles or drones, the journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. The history of manned aircraft is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. From the primitive biplanes of the early 20th century to the supersonic jets of today, these flying machines have transformed the way we travel, connect, and perceive our world. They've served in wars, carried millions across continents, and even touched the edge of space. Parallel to this, the story of drones unfolds. Initially conceived for military purposes during the first half of the 20th century, drones have rapidly evolved into versatile tools. Today, they're not just confined to battlefields but have found their way into various sectors, from commercial to recreational uses. The technological advancements in both domains are staggering. Manned aircraft have seen significant improvements in propulsion systems, aerodynamics, and onboard technology. On the other hand, drones have experienced exponential growth in areas like flight control systems, autonomous operation capabilities, and miniaturization. But the journey doesn't stop here. As we delve into this comparative analysis, we'll explore how drones and manned aircraft have been deployed across different applications. We'll look at their roles in the military, their commercial uses, and the fun they offer to hobbyists. We'll also discuss the safety and regulatory considerations, the environmental impact, the costs involved, and the future prospects of these flying machines. This analysis isn't just about comparing two types of aircraft, it's about understanding the broader implications of these technologies on our society, economy, and environment. It's about appreciating the marvels of human invention and the limitless possibilities that the future holds. So buckle up as we embark on this fascinating journey of exploration and discovery. From their humble beginnings, both drones and manned aircraft have come a long way. But one thing is certain, the sky is not the limit. In the theater of war, both drones and manned aircraft have their roles to play. Imagine a high-stakes chess game played in the skies. Each piece, whether a drone or a manned aircraft, has its unique capabilities. Drones, for instance, are the knights on this board. Agile, capable of making moves that manned aircraft can't. They can stay in the air for extended periods, providing real-time surveillance and reconnaissance. Manned aircraft, on the other hand, are the rooks. They're fast, powerful, and capable of delivering heavy payloads. With a human pilot on board, they can make split-second decisions based on intuition and experience, something that even the most sophisticated drone AI can't replicate. In surveillance, drones have the upper hand. Their small size and quiet operation make them perfect for stealth missions. They can also fly in conditions that would be too risky for manned aircraft, such as in close proximity to enemy lines or in hazardous weather. When it comes to reconnaissance, drones and manned aircraft each have their strengths. Drones can gather data over a wide area and transmit it back in real time. Manned aircraft, however, can cover more ground quickly and can adapt on the fly to unexpected situations. In combat roles, the picture is more complex. Drones can conduct precision strikes without putting human pilots at risk. However, manned aircraft still hold the advantage in air-to-air -air combat due to their speed, power, and the tactical flexibility offered by a human pilot. In recent years, we've seen specific missions where drones were preferred due to their inherent advantages. Yet, there have also been scenarios where the strategic benefits of manned aircraft were undeniable. The military's choice between drones and manned aircraft isn't about replacing one with the other. Rather, it's about leveraging the unique strengths of each to achieve the mission objectives. As technology advances, we're likely to see a continued blend of both drones and manned aircraft on the battlefield. Consider this. 
the chessboard of warfare is evolving. The pieces are becoming more sophisticated, and the strategies are becoming more complex. But one thing remains certain. Whether in the air or on the ground, the battlefield is forever changed. Beyond the battlefield, the skies are also a place of business. Indeed, when it comes to commercial applications, both drones and manned aircraft have carved out their unique niches. Let's start with cargo transport. Manned aircraft have long been the backbone of global logistics, moving millions of tons of goods around the world every day. But drones are making inroads into this sector, especially in delivering small packages over short distances. For instance, in remote areas or congested urban environments, drones can provide a speedy and cost-effective solution, zipping past traffic and geographical barriers. Next, consider aerial photography. While manned aircraft can offer a broader perspective, drones with their ability to hover close to the ground and navigate tight spaces offer unparalleled precision and flexibility. This makes them the go-to choice for many filmmakers, real estate agents, and event planners. Now let's talk about agricultural monitoring. Here, drones have a clear edge. Their ability to fly low and slow, equipped with advanced sensors, allows them to collect detailed data on crop health, soil conditions, and irrigation needs. In contrast, manned aircraft, while capable of covering larger areas, can't match the level of detail that drones can capture. Economic implications? Well, on the surface, drones seem cheaper. They require less fuel, fewer personnel, and lower maintenance costs. But the picture is more complex. Regulatory hurdles, insurance costs, and the need for specialized training can add to the overall expense of operating drones. Looking ahead, the commercial aviation landscape is ripe for innovation. Autonomous delivery drones, air taxis, and even drone-based internet services are no longer the stuff of science fiction. As for manned aircraft, advancements in fuel efficiency, noise reduction, and passenger comfort continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. From cargo transport to aerial photography, the sky is the limit. Both drones and manned aircraft have their strengths and weaknesses, and it's these differences that will shape the future of business in the skies. But it's not all work in the skies, there's also play. The thrill of flight captivates both drone enthusiasts and manned aircraft pilots alike. For drone hobbyists, the allure lies in the ability to control a small nimble craft with precision, capturing stunning aerial footage or engaging in drone racing events. On the other hand, recreational flying of manned aircraft offers an unmatched sense of freedom, soaring through the clouds and seeing the world from a bird's eye view. However, with fun comes responsibility. Both drones and manned aircraft must adhere to safety regulations. While drone pilots must consider privacy laws and restricted airspace, recreational pilots of manned aircraft undertake rigorous training to ensure safety in the skies. Moreover, regulatory bodies worldwide strive to strike a balance, allowing for the enjoyment of these airborne activities while ensuring public safety. Despite the regulations, the thrill of flight continues to attract countless enthusiasts. From hobbyists to professional pilots, the joy of flight is universal, yet with great power comes great responsibility. This phrase rings true, particularly when considering the safety and regulatory aspects of drones and manned aircraft. As these technologies take to the skies, it's paramount to ensure they operate safely and within the confines of regulatory frameworks. Let's start with safety records. The aviation industry has a long history of prioritizing safety, with manned aircraft safety records showing a steady improvement over the years. However, the introduction of drones has led to a new set of safety challenges. While drones generally have fewer accidents than manned aircraft, the accidents they do have often result from operator error or technical failure. As more drones take to the skies, the risk of mid-air collisions, particularly in shared airspace, becomes a growing concern. Now let's pivot to the regulations governing these flying machines. Regulatory frameworks for manned aircraft are well established, with international bodies like the International Civil Aviation Organization setting standards that are adopted worldwide. These regulations cover everything from pilot training to aircraft maintenance and air traffic control, ensuring the safety of all who take to the skies. On the other hand, drone regulations are still in their infancy. Many countries are grappling with how to regulate these unmanned aerial vehicles, particularly as their uses diversify. From hobbyist use to commercial operations, drones present unique challenges to regulators. In many jurisdictions, drone operators are required to keep their drones within visual line of sight and avoid flying over populated areas. 
The Federal Aviation Administration in the United States, for instance, has established guidelines for both recreational and commercial drone use, including altitude limits and airspace restrictions. However, as drone technology advances and their applications expand, these regulations are continually evolving. In conclusion, while both drones and manned aircraft have their unique safety challenges, the regulatory frameworks governing their operation are critical in maintaining safety in our skies. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in aviation, it's essential to remember that, as technology advances, so too must our rules and regulations. In our pursuit of the skies, we must not forget our home, the Earth. As we compare drones and manned aircraft, their environmental impact cannot be overlooked. Both have carbon footprints, but they're not the same. Manned aircraft, particularly those used for long-distance travel, contribute significantly to global carbon emissions. On the other hand, drones, being smaller and lighter, typically have a comparatively lower carbon output, but they are not entirely innocent either. The production, operation and disposal of drones also contribute to environmental pollution. Ecological considerations extend beyond carbon emissions. Noise pollution, for instance, is a significant concern with both drones and manned aircraft. The continuous buzzing of drones can disrupt wildlife just as the roar of a jet engine can. However, the story doesn't end here. Innovations are continually emerging in both sectors aiming to reduce their environmental impact. From electric planes to solar-powered drones, these advancements hold promise for a greener aviation future. Innovation is the key to a sustainable future. Flying is a dream, but it comes with a price. The costs associated with drones and manned aircraft vary greatly, and their cost-effectiveness depends on their respective applications. Let's start with drones. Drones are significantly less expensive to purchase, operate, and maintain than manned aircraft. A high-end drone for commercial use can cost a few thousand dollars, whereas a manned aircraft can cost millions even before considering operational expenses. Additionally, drones consume less fuel or electricity and require less maintenance, further reducing the cost. This makes drones an economical choice for certain applications, such as aerial photography, agricultural monitoring, and small-scale cargo delivery. However, drones have their limitations. Their payload capacity, endurance, and range are much smaller than those of manned aircraft. For large-scale cargo transport or long-distance flights, manned aircraft are still the more cost-effective solution. Now let's look at military applications. Drones have been a game-changer in modern warfare due to their lower costs and reduced risk to human life. A military drone can cost from a few hundred thousand to a few million dollars, a fraction of the cost of a fighter jet or a helicopter. They are cheaper to operate and can perform dangerous missions without risking the lives of pilots. However, drones can't perform all military tasks. Some missions require human judgment, versatility, and the ability to handle unexpected situations, something that drones currently can't provide. Therefore, despite the higher costs, manned aircraft remain essential in military operations. For recreational purposes, drones are a clear winner. A hobby drone costs a few hundred dollars, making aerial activities accessible to many. In contrast, recreational flying of manned aircraft involves significant expenses including the cost of the aircraft, fuel, maintenance, storage, and pilot training. In conclusion, drones are generally more cost-effective for small-scale, low-risk operations, while manned aircraft are more suitable for tasks requiring larger capacity, longer range, or human judgment. The choice between a drone and a manned aircraft is not only a question of cost, but also of the specific requirements of the task at hand. Whether for business or pleasure, the cost of flight is a critical factor. As we look to the skies, we wonder, what does the future hold? In the realm of aviation, the horizon is dotted with possibilities. Drones and manned aircraft continue to evolve, pushing boundaries and redefining what's possible. We see a future where hybrid models, a fusion of unmanned and manned technologies may take center stage. Imagine aircraft that can switch between autonomous and piloted modes, providing flexibility and ensuring safety, or drones with advanced artificial intelligence, capable of complex decision-making in real time. We might even witness the rise of solar drones, harnessing the power of the sun for sustained flight. But it's not just about the technology, it's about how it shapes our world, from enhancing military strategies to revolutionizing commercial sectors and making the joy of flying more accessible. As we inch closer to this future, we must remember, it's not just about reaching new heights but also about navigating the journey responsibly. The future is as vast as the sky itself.
In the end, the sky is wide enough for both drones and manned aircraft. Our journey today has taken us through the evolution, applications, safety concerns, environmental impacts, cost implications, and future prospects of these two remarkable forms of aviation. We've delved into the strengths and limitations of both, from the battlefield to the business arena, from recreational pursuits to the forefront of technological innovation. Drones, with their flexibility, cost-effectiveness, and ever-evolving capabilities, are carving out their own niche in the sky. Manned aircraft, while more expensive and complex, continue to hold their ground with superior payload capacity and human judgment. As technology advances, the dynamics between these two will keep shifting, opening new frontiers in aviation. So, will drones replace manned aircraft? The answer is up in the air. In the grand scheme of things, it's not about replacement, but about finding the right balance and leveraging the unique strengths of each. And that, my friends, is the beauty of flight.